learning with autonomous learning tools. Good practice in Grapau Rima. UPC, Universitat Politécnica de Catalunya, is a technological university which offers engineering and architecture degrees. As it known, under the new degrees of the European Higher Education Area, learning skills take on a very important role. According to design and implementation of degree curricula, UPC has selected seven generic skills, including autonomous learning, to incorporate in the profile of all its graduates. The RIMA project is a proposal from Education Science Institute of UPC. The aim of RIMA is to generate a meeting point for all engineering education research communities of practice, giving visibility to educational innovation and to promote the participation of teachers in edu educational research and innovation activities. What is Grapau? Grapau is one of the communities of practice of RIMA. It has been focusing their work on collecting activities and experiences to improve the quality of the autonomous learning in the UPC degrees. Objective of the present work The main items developed by Grapau in order to improve autonomous learning activities can be summarized as follows. Identification of fundamental aspects that any academic activity must contain to be adequate for autonomous learning. Development of a form model for, for introducing autonomous learning work in order to create useful, useful activities. Elaborate a recompilation of autonomous learning activities as support for teachers and examples for students. Design and survey, a survey for identifying the strengths and weaknesses of the activities to improve them. As it known, autonomous learning is a generic skill which has the ability to detect gaps in the itself and overcome them through critical reflection and choice of the best action to fill these gaps. UPC has defined three levels of autonomous learning in increasing difficulty which must be taken into account when an activity is being designed. Each level corresponds to a certain period of the degrees and the activities will be in accordance with the level and period that corresponds to the subject. Level 1, Direct Learning, is the one which students do what the teacher tells them and all the work is scheduled. Level 2, Guided Learning, students use guidelines outside the classroom and indicate learning objectives associated with activities. For example, how long to spend on each activity or what they are expected to learn. Level 3, Autonomous Learning, students are ready to decide how to run organize themselves and to identify the source of information that should, that should allow them to navigate a new situation. Level 1 is applied in the first year of the degree and level 2 in the following years to finally reach level 3 in the last year of the degree. The methodology mainly used in business is known as the Deming Circle or Plan Do Check Act. We plan the fundamental aspects in a brainstorming session. Do the activities presented in this work, check with surveys and act to improve it in further work. The first item is to define the fundamental aspects. We had a, brain, a brainstorming session to define aspects that an autonomous learning activity should contemplate. Some of the aspects said were, for example, uh, it has to be a guided and structured task, teachers should earn a profit or for example work out must be controlled uh, for example another example resources must be provided uh, and a lot of uh, several issues more the finite aspects have been classifi classified into four groups as follows load the load to be performed by the students and the teacher in the activity must be balanced maturity it is necessary to place the activity in the proper context of the project and the degree. Effectivity, it must be an indicator for teachers and students to measure st student learning progress. And finally, protocol, the activity must be a guided and a structured task. It depends on the level we decide, but it's more or less the, the four issues, the four groups we define. The second item is the creation of a form model. 
This form model will be included in the course guides describing the autonomous learning activities of each subject. The model introduces information of fundamental aspects as the figure shows in course, for example, gold in blue, maturity red, effectivity green, protocol uh, yellow, and other additional information. The third item is a recompilation of different activities of autonomous learning, examples for different subjects in engineering and architecture degrees, uh, continuum mechanics, material science, theory of structures, computing, physics. Uh, all these activities are summarized in one in a one-page paper that can be found in the repository UPC Commons. The proposed activities have been assessed by the own teacher from one to five for each group of fundamental aspects. The ideal case would be scored with five. In other cases, some effort has to be made to improve the different aspects of the activity. The figure shows the evaluation of nine activities. Although no, act no activity has achieved the optimal autonomous learning level, more than half of them have a good qualification, so we can consider them in the good way of autonomous learning activities. And finally, the fourth item is a survey to the students. The questions asked to the students are the following. One, the activity is in accordance with the content of the subject. Two, how is the difficulty level of the activity? Three, how much time did you spend in the activity? Four, the self-assessment makes you more self-aware of the mistakes and improve the learning better than a correction by the professor. Five, the content of the rubric is comprehensive and facilitates the correction. 6. The evaluation system is fair and appropriate. 7. The delivery system of the activity using Atenea is easy and convenient. Atenea, Atenea is the virtual learning environment based in Moodle which U UPC uses. And 8. Doing the activity and its subsequent correction consolidates the content of the subject. Uh, considering this an ongoing project, only four, four of the nine activities have already included a, a student survey. Questions four to six were not answered in activity A because it did not use any self-assessment correction method. As activity D did not use a rubric for correction, the fifth question was eliminated. We can see the results and the results of, of the, the survey. Uh, First, the students evaluate most positively the agreement between the activity and the content of the subject and the delivery system through a digital interface. Uh, question 2 and 3, uh, the intermediate value is the optimum one because it expresses the both that both difficulty and time consumption are similar to those expected by the students. And in general, the evaluation is up to 4, showing that the students positive positively evaluate these autonomous learning activities. And finally, the conclusions of the work presented here are the teachers will rate their own activities and experiences taking into account results obtained in the surveys to the students and a continuous improvement process will be initiated to reach better rates in the evaluations. This is the act part. Thank you for your attention and if there is, and if there is there any question, we would be pleased to answer.